to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Plant Base, and this is Kimberly's Kitchen. We have a lot of activity going on this evening in the house because my brother had to go to work. So I have two little people that are in the kitchen. So anyway, please subscribe and like my channel so you can know what we are cooking new and things that we are trying. Today is going to be something different. Stop trying. Hey, where it's going to be something different. We are going to be making a acorn squash. This is what it looks like. Have you ever guys ever seen an acorn squash? Huh? No. I the have. You have. I when? Yes, I was a baby. Mm, when she was a baby. Anyway, this is an acorn squash, and we have a vegetable truck that comes around to different parts of the valley every Saturday. You can get 70 pounds of vegetables for $12 donation. So sometimes we get um, a couple boxes, and what we don't use, we give away to other families, and I take them to my salon. So, but we are going to i was like what can i do with this i know it's good on the inside because i've had squash before but this is an acorn squash and you could probably tell because it is shaped like an acorn so what we're going to do is cut this in half now you're going to need a pretty sharp knife because it's a little firm so you're going to cut it find the best way you can cut this acorn squash okay I think this is good okay yep got it cut it down the middle <clears throat> try not to cut yourself in the process I use a knife to it'll make my face lettuce yeah okay it's it has seeds and lettuce. this is what the inside of it looks like pretty funny huh no. so now you want to get these seeds out as much as possible and you want to disregard the seeds, okay? We're not going to eat the seeds. We're not cooking the seeds. We are going to disregard them. So get as much of it out as you can. And sometimes it doesn't really smell that good when you cut it. But when you cook it, it's good. So it's pretty easy getting the seeds out. Not hard. And also remember, look and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank you, Noble. Nephew Noble. Okay, so we got getting all these seeds out. And they have been my little helpers today. So I want to thank my niece and nephew. And also, I've never been in a YouTube <laughs> video before. But it's always the first time for everything, okay? And so we have. It all cleaned out, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. So I want you to cut what you can slices. It was actually hard for me to cut slices, but cut as many slices as you can in your acorn squash, okay? We're gonna do it on both of them. And the next thing, cut, cut, cut. And it doesn't matter, they don't have to be neat. Just cut some in there. This is what. So now, all you need is your vegan butter. Everybody, get your vegan butter and some brown sugar. We are going to put the vegan butter inside of our acorn, acorn squash. Just a nice helping. And then, we are also going to add Brown sugar. Good job, Noble. Brown sugar. We're going to add the brown sugar inside of the acorn squash. Mmm, look good, huh? Yeah. So you get this prepared. You can't add too much. You can't add too much. You're right. This is what it's going to look like. Uh oh. I don't want to waste any, so let's get it packed in there. I'll take care. How do you make a, a YouTube video on a YouTube channel? I will show you. 
So it's all packed in here and ready to go. You're going to bake this in the oven for an hour and you're gonna put a little water in the bottom of the pan to help it steam. So you're gonna bake on 400 for one hour. Um, and then this is what it's gonna look like. This is the finished product. The outside of it is a little brown and mushy. And this is like this on both. <laughs> Uh oh, oh what is we are um, cooking multiple dinners tonight so Ew. once it's done Ew. it's going to be nice and soft Ew. so you want to take the juice from your acorn squash and put it around because this is butter and sugar so as you can see it's pretty soft it has some yeah. skates on mm -hmm. So, as you can see, it's pretty soft, and now it is ready to eat. So, after one hour, your acorn squash is ready to eat. You would want to top it with a little syrup around the edges and just kind of drizzle. And you can scoop it out on your plate and enjoy. This is our acorn squash. Okay. I'm gonna go back to put this in here. Add your water. Add the water you wanna cover the bottom of your pan or your baking sheet. It looks like a, a messed up sugar cookie. <laughs> it does. And then this, like I said, will bake on 400 for about an hour. Okay, I want you guys to try the acorn squash. Okay. Tell me how y'all like it. Since you're in my video. I like it. You don't even know if you like it. You haven't even had it. Hmm. I like it. Tell the viewers. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? I mean, it's like it tastes so good. It's good. It's a winner. Again, thanks for subscribing. I like it. All of my new subscribers. Thanks for to my old subscribers for watching. This is Miss Plant Base. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and let us know what you think.